Do you utilize JotForm's appointment field and wish it would two-way sync with your Calendly account? Well, let me show you how with JotForm appointments. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Calendly and you have an appointment feature on one of your forms, you can two-way sync with Calendly to ensure that there's no double booking. So as you can see, I'm currently in a form, a very simple form called one-on-one -on -one meeting. We also have a simple name field, email field, and a short text field that has their topic. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in an appointment field on the left-hand side. We're going to add element. I'm going to bring in that appointment field and I'm gonna choose the properties option. Now I'm gonna jump over to general first. This is where we can edit what that field label is, but the most important thing under the general tab is to make sure that this is required. Next, I'm gonna go over to availability. Let's go ahead and choose Calendly. I'm gonna go ahead and add action. And at the top, we need to choose which event. I am good with that one-on-one -on -one consult for new members. And now we want to map our fields. We map the name and the email. Perfect, we can save. And that is it when it comes to Calendly. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the advanced tab. So if you want to change that default time zone, it's completely up to you, but it's gonna automatically be for your time zone. You can also change the date format as well as the time format. So let's go ahead and preview our form. Now my Calendly is synced to my Google Calendar. So let's go take a look at my Google Calendar. For the week of the 5th, I have something at 11 on the 6th, something at 2 on the 7th. I have a meeting already at 10 on the 9th. And of course I have breakfast with mom around nine o'clock. So let's go ahead back over to our forum. I'm gonna do a quick fill form. All right, and we have our performance review as the topic. Let's go ahead and select our date and time. All right, let's go ahead and jump ahead. I'm gonna do the seventh and we had right here, we can see I had that appointment at two o'clock. So it completely wiped that time period out. So let's go ahead and choose noon. We'll do next. And all of these times are pulling from Calendly. So if you have any updates that you wanna to make to the time period or the time frames that you're available or the reminder emails, that is gonna go through Calendly. We see the details, the name, and how would you like to have this call? We can add in. I'm gonna say Zoom and we can schedule this event. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and submit. All right, let's jump back over to my Google Calendar and here we see John Smith and Kimberly event. Perfect, we have our Zoom and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm appointments with your Calendly, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.